right, okay, all right. How are you, Larry? Um, this is really throwing me. What is? You know... What are you throwing by? I'm throwing by this configuration of, of your desk yeah. and this couch. Well, that's... By the way, beautiful couch. Thank you. Beautiful, like an Art Deco kind of thing. I like it a lot. Appreciate it. But why... You had to be different, didn't you? Yeah. Huh? Your <laughs> guess, your guess can't be on the right. Everybody else is on the right. Mm -hmm. You gotta go lefty. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like you're driving in the UK. For sure. Right? That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah, right? That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I, and I'm completely thrown because I would get in an accident if I was driving in the UK. Well, that's all right. You're not gonna get in an accident tonight. You're gonna be absolutely fine. How did you pick up the the driving here? Were you good at it? Because it must have thrown you, right? No, it's, well, it's kind of it's much easier because if you learn to drive in London or a suburb outside of London, it's a nightmare. It's all turn circles and all those things. Here, essentially in LA, it's just a, a massive straight road. I, I know, but you're on the other side. From... Yeah, but you're in a three lane or a two lane run of traffic. It doesn't, it feels, now that I've lived here this long, it feels weirder when I go home. In fact, when we went home in the summer, I spent a good, I'm gonna say 45 to 50 seconds driving down a road on the, yeah, the wrong side. On the wrong side. On the wrong side. And it was only when someone shouted, what are you doing? I was like, yeah. oh <laughs> my God, that. Yeah, so it's but, harder but, going by back the way, that way. I, I noticed you used the F word on your show. <laughs> what, 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 uh, what, what's the deal with that? I don't know. I can, can I up here? Yeah, you huh? can you it up, but just don't be <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great word, very underused. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, particularly yeah. in America. Oh yeah. Oh, in yeah. America, yeah. and I found that out pretty quick. Yeah. That it is. That is a bad word here. That's a bad. Arguably, word, yeah. at home, it's it's a term of endearment. Really? You know? Yeah. Oh, you lovely. <laughs> <laughs> It can be. I might have to try and incorporate that and give that as an answer. You know? Yeah. No, it's a term of endearment. What are you, sure. what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm thrilled that you're here. It's your first time on the show. We live near each other in Los Angeles. Yes, we do. And you remember I spotted you at, uh, at a restaurant. You did? Yeah, he was with his family. It was a Sunday. He was having uh, breakfast with his family, and I was there. <clears throat> and I had the option in my head after I spotted you. Mm. Mm. Should I, should I go over and say hello? Or should I kind of sneak out the way I normally would do? Yeah. And just pretend I didn't see him, but... Well, and all the time I'm thinking, I wonder, should I go and say hi to Larry David? Is it weird if I, but why would I? It's not like, it's so, it's so weird, this business. Two plumbers don't go, well, that guy's a plumber, yeah. I should go over and say <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so weird. Right, I know. So I said, I, you know, there's something about this guy I like this guy. I think I like this guy. And I'm going to go over, and you're with your family. Yeah. And I came to the table. You did. And I said hello. And tell me if I didn't stay the exact right amount of time. You... Huh? You did, I, did I hit it right on not the... Not for a second. Not, I didn't it go was, over one second, it right? Was, it was like there was a mental clock. You, yeah. had, the, you had your dog, the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. It's My kids dog, were enamored yeah. with the dog. You said, well, have a great breakfast, and then you lent into me, you went, look at that. Yeah. The exact perfect stop and chat. <laughs> perfect, perfect stop and chat, yeah. Uh, now, when you started out, you wanted to be an actor, right? Or before a comedian, is that right? Well, I, right I, I, that? I, you know, I, I got out of college. <clears throat> I didn't quite know what I wanted to do. Um, when I was in school, people would say, what do you want to do? You know, I said, yeah. oh, you know, I don't know, something will turn up. Um, of course, in the back of my mind, I knew nothing was going to turn up. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I t you know, I, uh, I needed something to say to women when they said, what do you do? Right. You need an answer for that. For sure. You can't say, I live with my parents. Yes. You, know? yeah. you have to have an answer to what do you do. So I needed, like, a cool thing to say because, let's face it, just this wasn't enough. You know? <laughs> this. This, this was not going to suffice. Right, yeah. Sure. I needed more than this. Mm -hmm. I needed something outside of this. Sure. That could aid and abet. 
I, I'm aware of that feeling. Yeah, yeah. you know that. Okay. <laughs> so I thought, you know, an actor, maybe I could be an actor. That's a, that's a cool thing to say. What do you do? I'm an actor, you know. Mm. Ask, ask me what I do. Yeah. Uh, so what do you do? I'm an actor. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> ask, ask me again. Yeah. So what do you do? I'm an actor. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. there's, there's something to say. Mm. So, uh, unfortunately, and I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I could actually do this. Why is it so hard? What is it? I see people on television doing it. Mm. What do you do? There's, there's things to say, right? They give you something to say, and you say it. Yeah, it's not going to be. What, what is so hard? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, OK, well, what am I going to I'll take an acting class. Right. So I took an acting class. Could not have hated it more. <laughs> I did not like it one bit, yeah. Because I kept having to wait <clears throat> for somebody else to finish talking. Right. You know, before I could talk. Sure. And I want to talk. I don't like not talking. So when they're talking, I don't even hear what they're saying. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my turn, you know. And then I say it, and then they start talking again, and I got to wait again for my turn. Yeah. And the whole thing was not appealing to me. Um, and then one night, <clears throat> while I was in the acting class, I went to some bar with some friends, and I was talking, I was talking to a woman, and uh, I thought I would try it out. Mm. <laughs> And she said, uh, so what do you do? I said, uh, I'm an actor. And she said, what have you done? <laughs> that was the end of See that. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> but when you started doing stand-up, when you, uh, did you become, how successful did you become as a stand-up? Oh, did you? Oh, wildly successful. Did you, did you make it onto like late night, did you do that sort of circuit of doing, you know, making it onto late night shows and things like that? I, uh, no, not even close. Oh, really? Oh, I had, oh, I was terrible. I had no act. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't very good. I really wasn't very good. I, you know, the, com the other comedians seemed to like me and the, the waitresses liked me. The audiences couldn't stand me. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, no, but a, a talk show, no, never. One night, I went on uh, at the improv. And uh, after I finished, I, I was in the bar hanging out with some comics. And then I heard that the talent coordinator from The Tonight Show was in the audience. That would have been, what, Johnny Carson? Right? Yeah, Johnny yeah. Carson. Right. Johnny Carson. Wow. And at that time, um, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, oh, that's all. That's all comedians could talk about. Right. Oh, Johnny. Oh, oh, did you see Johnny? Oh, I'm going on Johnny. Right. Did Johnny like you? What, what's Johnny? What, what did Johnny say? You know, Johnny, yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> That's, that, that was it. Every right. night, all you heard was Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I heard, oh, he was in the audience. That means he saw me, mm. OK? And, um, and then I, OK, I spent my time that I was going to go home. And in order to leave, I had to pass him. Right. The Tonight Show talent coordinator. Mm. And I passed him, and he looked at me. And he said, Johnny wouldn't like you. <laughs> and I said, I said, you know what? Uh, I'm not so sure I'd like Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, look, we have to talk about Curb Your Enthusiasm. Sure. The 11th season, it starts on Sunday. We're so excited that it's back. What can you tell us about the show? By the way, are there no commercials in this show? <laughs> we're, we're, we're we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> There will be. There will oh, there be will commercials, be? Oh. yeah. Okay. You didn't, you I imagine didn't... a lot of the stuff will get cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Tell us about the show. Uh, you know, I, I, I never really like to give away too much plot. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but it starts on Sunday, Sunday night. Somebody told me 10.40, but I think it's 10.30. Right. 
Eastern, Eastern time. Sure. Um, you know, I, I don't know. The usual, it's the usual show. It's the same show. Um, <laughs> same, same cast, same thing, you know. It's more, it's more of the same.